Philippians 2 7 says that Jesus made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Therefore, being a true servant is dependent upon being of no reputation. Of course, this is speaking about reputation in terms of the world, because 1 Timothy 3 7 says that we as Christians must have a good reputation with unbelievers so that we will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. The only problem is that we don't want to pay the piper to become the righteous people of God that Scripture tells us we need to be as a witness for Him. Give me the reputation, please. Hold the cross. When we try to overcome sin by our own strength, truth becomes a burden of guilt instead of a sword that cuts away the world from our lives with the power and strength of our relationship with Jesus. For those of us who need to hear this message, I pray the words will bring conviction that the pretend reputation we try to live under comes with a very high price tag of not being able to share who we really are, weakness and all, with those around us. Others could be encouraged by the testimony of what God has done in every area of our lives, not just the areas we're comfortable talking about, so that our good reputation won't be damaged. If we tell the truth about Christ's faithfulness to lift us up daily, He will be glorified instead of us protecting our stuff and being of no use as a living epistle to the kingdom of God.